Combining Super Saiyan with times 20 Kaioken, Vegeta is finally ready to surpass Goku. Unleashing his fury, he quickly takes advantage of his superior strength and lands several blows to the former hero. Hitting Goku with a final flash point blank, we cut back to Piccolo, who can only stand in awe of Vegeta's insane power, but he can't help but wonder how long it will last. Admitting to Vegeta's advanced power, Goku says he can't afford to pace himself any longer. Just then, the Saiyan Prince appears behind him and sends him flying down to the earth. However, at the last moment, Vegeta can sense Goku braced for impact by maxing out his key, as Goku instant transmissions behind his adversary. Able to keep up, Vegeta once again uses the Kaioken times 20 to land several shots to Goku, having the now evil Saiyan right where he wants him. Vegeta tells Goku that if he takes his next attack head on, it will surely kill him. Vegeta lets loose what he calls a Kaioken Big Bang attack, causing a giant explosion to rock the area. Piccolo says that last attack could have taken the entire planet. Well, it's a secondary concern as long as Goku has been defeated. What a guy. I guess we'll have to undo this damage with Shenlong and get Puranga to revive Sun. Revive me? Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? What? Using instant transmission to teleport to Piccolo's key signature, Goku tells Piccolo not to move as he can't allow Vegeta to detect him at this time. Furthering, he says he does not have any plans on fighting Piccolo as there would be little point, but if provoked, he won't hesitate. Piccolo takes this opportunity to ask Goku if he's truly forgotten everything they've been through. The Saiyan declares, I am not Sun Goku anymore. I am Kakarot. Disgusted, Piccolo demands to know if his loved ones, his wife, his children mean nothing to him. Trying to remember, Piccolo bringing up Goten and Gohan seems to jar a hint of a memory. Just as Piccolo believes there's still hope, Goku utters, Gohan and Goten had immense potential, especially Gohan. Even though he had no stomach for battle, he surpassed me twice. Elaborating more that Gohan would rather be a student than a warrior, Piccolo doesn't understand what Goku is trying to say. Screaming to the world, he didn't want Gohan to become a worthless scholar. He wanted his first son to be the one to surpass him. With Goku's anger getting the better of him, transforming back into a Super Saiyan. This gives Vegeta a lock on his location. Sensing the prince's impending arrival, Goku tells Piccolo to just go back to lurking in the shadows as he powers back up to Super Saiyan 3, before soon stating he now sees the flaws of the Super Kaioken. Detecting a Dragon Ball, Gohan touches down in Satan City. Rushing to a nearby fountain featuring Koa, he finds the ball. But a nearby girl claims she found it first and refuses to give it up. Even with the universe on the line, Gohan doesn't just take it from her. She says if Gohan can introduce her to the strongest man in the world, she'll give it up. Well, that's Goku, of course. Right? Well, apparently, and obviously, it's Mr. Satan. Taking off into the atmosphere, Gohan runs to fetch the old-timer. With no time to explain, he snatches Mr. Satan and rushes back to the fountain. While the young lady fangirls over the martial artist, Gohan takes off to find the next ball. Goten grabs the four-star ball from home and catches a slew of harassment from his mother for skipping class, while Trunks finds another in the ocean. Sure enough, they would soon gather all seven. While Gohan daydreams about how Trunks has become more like the future Trunks of days past, rather than the delinquent child he once was, Trunks himself explains to Goten the changes Vegeta has gone through. Sensing his father's distress, Trunks momentarily transforms into a Super Saiyan before coming to his senses. Gohan contacts Piccolo and instead of just telling him the wish, Piccolo heads to the boy's location. Vegeta charges another times 20 Super Kaioken. Goku dodges the attack, teleporting behind Vegeta and fires a Kamehameha, who is also able to dodge. Goku tries to evade but is caught up with by Vegeta. As the two regroup, Goku states he's figured out Vegeta yet again, saying he hasn't been going straight to Kaioken times 20, but instead he's been using pure speed and flashy moves to make him think he's been doing so. Having deduced this, Goku declares himself the soon-to-be winner and claims Vegeta's life is about to end. However, <laughs> didn't I tell you, Kakarot? Huh? Concentrating all of his energy, Vegeta then transforms into a Super Saiyan 3. I did everything you did. 